Welcome to today's session of theCUBE's presentation of the AWS Startup Showcase, the next big thing in AI, security, and life sciences. Today featuring Lacework for the security track. I'm your host, Natalie Ehrlich. Thank you for joining us. And we will discuss today how Lending Tree automates AWS security for DevOps teams and stays compliant with Lacework. Now we're joined by Adam Leftick, the VP of Product at Lacework, as well as Arun Sankran, CISO of Lending Tree. Thank you both very much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Well, wonderful. Adam, let's start with you. Lacework positions itself as quote, cloud security at the speed of cloud innovation. What does that mean to you and how are you helping your customers? Great question, Natalie. I think one of the things that's really important to understand about Lacework really comes back to essentially what's happening at, at cloud speed, which is customers are aggressively moving more and more of their applications to the cloud but they're doing so with the same number of resources to secure that environment. And as the cloud continues to grow, both in terms of complexity, as well as overall ability to unlock new styles of applications that were never before even possible without this new technology landscape, fundamentally Lacework is designed to enable those builders to go faster without worrying about all the different intricacies and uh, threats that, that they face um, out there on the internet. And so the, the core mission of Lacework is really about enabling builders to build those applications and leverage those cloud resources and new cloud technologies to move quicker and quicker. If you go back to the, yeah, thanks. If you go back to the sort of foundation of the, the company there, um, we took a very different approach to how we think about security. Um, often, you know, security approaches in, in the past have been a rules driven model where you try and think of all the different uh, vectors that uh, attacks can um, come at. And fundamentally, you end up writing a series of these rules that are impossible to maintain, they atrophy over time, and that you can't possibly think uh, ahead of all these uh, you know, nefarious actors. So one of the things that Lacework did from the very beginning was take a very different approach, which is leveraging security as a data problem. And the way we do this is through what we refer to as our polygraph. And the polygraph essentially looks at all the exhaust telemetry that we're able to ingest both from your cloud accounts, as well as the underlying uh, infrastructure and we take that and we build a baseline and a behavioral model for how the application should behave um, when it's normal. And this baseline represents the state of normalcy. And so then we leverage modern data science techniques to essentially build a model that um, can identify potential threats without requiring our users to um, build rules and ultimately um, play catch up uh, to all the different threats that they face. And this is a really, really powerful capability because it allows our customers both to identify misconfigurations and remediate them, uh, monitor all the activity to reduce the overall um, overhead on their security organization. And of course, um, you know, help them build faster and, and uh, you know, identify threats as they, as they um, come into the system. And we differentiate um, lots of our offering uh, lots of, in lots of different ways as well. So one of the things we're looking to do um, as part of the overall cloud transformation is really meet the DevOps teams and the security teams where they are. And so all of the information that least were captures, synthesizes and produced through, the, through our automation ultimately feed into the different channels that um, our users are really uh, leveraging at scale today, whether that's you know through their uh, uh, chat ops windows or ultimately into their CICD pipeline so that we give broad coverage both at build time as well as runtime and give them full visibility and insights and um, the ability to remediate those quickly. Um, you know, one of the other things that we're really proud of, and, and this is core to, um, you know, our product philosophy is building uh, more and more um, partnerships with our customers and Lending Tree is really at the forefront of that partnership and we're super excited to be partnering with them and and that's certainly something that we've we've done and to differentiate our product offering and I'd love to hear from Arun you know how how have you been working with Lacework and and how has that been going so far yeah thank you Adam and um you know frankly I think that's a huge differentiator for us there's a lot of players that can solve technology problems 
Um, but what we've really appreciated is that you know, as a smaller shop and a small organization, um, the level of kind of connectedness that we feel with the development teams at Laceworks, and we you know, raise a opportunity, you know, this can make things more efficient for us, or this can reduce our time to triage, um, um, you know, this, or, or, you know, this visualization or this UI could be, um, modified to support certain security operation center use cases. Maybe that's not what it was designed for. And, uh, we've enjoyed just a, a lot of success, um, in, in kind of shaping the product in order to meet all the different use cases. And, um, as Adam mentioned, you know, as a CISO, my primary responsibility is security, but frankly, there's a lot of, um, you know, DevOps and, and tech um, use cases within the polygraph visualization tool um, and understanding our environment and troubleshooting uh, has frankly saved us uh, quite a bit of time and we're looking forward to the partnership to continue to grow out the tool. And um, you know, as we, as a company scale, um, you know, in today's world, it's very important that we're able to scale our capability to 3X without a uh, corresponding to 3X in staff and, and resources. I think this is the kind of tool that's going to help us get there. Well, speaking to you, Arun, Lacework has recently grown tremendously and gotten a lot of industry attention, but you saw something before everyone, everyone else. Can you tell us what really caught your attention? What stood out to you and why you decided to become an early adopter? Yeah, great question. Um, honestly, I, I wish it was a, um, you know, super tricky kind of, you know, uh, answer, but uh, the real Honest answer is it was a very easy decision because we had a need. We, we knew that we needed robust monitoring capability and um, detection of threats within within containerized environments. And um, you know, there's a, there are other tool, uh, players in the space, but um, we have a very diverse environment. We're a combination of um, you know multiple container technologies and multiple cloud platforms. And we needed something that had the greatest diversity of coverage across our environments. And this was really the only um, solution that would work for us. Um, I'd love to be able to say that it was like a, you know, aggressive bake-off and there's all these different um, options and, you know, but really from a capability and scope and coverage, um, it was a fairly easy decision for us. And how has your de threat detection and investigation process changed since you brought on Lace work? Yeah, uh, it, it certainly has. Um, you know, our environment, um, you know, within a 24 hour period, it might generate 300, 400 million events. And that's, um, you know, process level data from hosts and network data uh, access. Um, it's just a very noisy amount of alerts. And, um, you know, uh, with the Lasorks platform, those 300, 400 million get reduced to about 100 alerts a day that we see. And of those, five are critical and those tend to all be very actionable. So uh, from an alert fatigue perspective, um, you know, we, we really uh, rely on this to you know, give us actionable data, uh, actionable alerts that teams can really focus on and it reduces that noise. So I would, I would say that's probably the number one way that um, our uh, detection uh, process has changed. And frankly, a lot of that is uh, what um, Adam mentioned as far as the um, you know, the underlying self-learning, self-tuning engine. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of active rules that we had to create or, you know, configuration that we had to do. It's kind of a learning system. And um, uh, I, I think it's really probably, I would estimate maybe 50, 60% reduction in uh, triage and response time for alerts as well. And Adam, now going to you, while 2020 was a really rough year for a lot of people, a lot of businesses, Lacework realized 300% revenue growth. So now that the economy is bouncing back and seemingly so in full force, what are what are your expectations for Lacework in the next year? Great question. I think one of the things we're seeing uh, broadly across the industry is um, an acceleration, a realization that um, companies that are going through digital transformations um, are have accelerated that pace. And so we anticipate even faster growth. Um, additionally, you know, companies that may have not been on that trajectory um, are now, you know, realizing that they need to move to the cloud. Um, you know, there's not a lot of 
uh, folks right now thinking that they're going to be racking and stacking uh, in uh, you know physical data centers going forward. So we fully expect um, a continuation of a massive uh, growth. And increasingly, you know, as customers are moving into the cloud, they're looking for, um, you know, tools to help them, you know, build a secure footprint, but also enable them to go faster. So, um, you know, we're, we have a, a, a point of view that, um, you know, we're going to continue to see this massive growth and, and if not, uh, have it even accelerate from here. Well, you're also the man behind the product. So could you go behind some of the key features that it offers? Sure. So, you know, if you think about our overall um, product portfolio, we really um, have both breadth and depth. So, you know, first and foremost, most customers who are moving to the cloud or have a large cloud footprint, the first concern they have is, do I have a series of misconfigurations? And we really help our customers both identify best practices with those um, configurations in the cloud, and then also help them um, move quickly towards uh, potential compliance standards that they need to adhere to. Everyone's um, operating in a regulated environment these days. And then of course, once you've got that footprint to a place where it's healthy, you really, really want to be able to monitor the, and track that um, the changes to the configurations over time to ensure you're continuing to maintain that footprint. And so we, we um, provide a you know, polygraph-based uh, uh, model that essentially identifies potential uh, behavioral risks um, that we're observing um, through our uh, data clustering algorithms to help you identify potential holes that you may have created over time um, and help you remediate those things. And then of course, you know, every customer faces a, a significant challenge when it comes to just keeping up with the overall uh, landscape changes um, in terms of overall vulnerability footprint in their environments. And so we have a um, great capability with what we call vulnerability discovery, which enables our customers to understand where they're vulnerable and not simply tell them how many vulnerabilities they have, but help them isolate leveraging all the runtime and build time context we have so that they can um, really prioritize what's important to them and what represents the highest risk. And then of course, lastly, you know, where the company uh, really uh, got started is in, is in helping customers protect their cloud workloads. And we do this by identifying um, threats um, that we're able to leverage our machine learning and data clustering algorithms so that once we have those baseline behaviors identified and modeled, we, we can leverage all of our threat intelligence to identify anomalies in that system and help customers really identify those risks. Um, as they're uh, coming into the system and, and deal with those in a really uh, timely manner. So those are kind of the, the overall key, key capabilities that, that really help teams scale and, and drive their overall cloud security programs. And Arun, really quickly from your perspective, what is a key feature that is really beneficial to lending tree? Um, it's kind of what Adam uh, mentioned with the um, kind of the, the self tuning capability, the um, the reduction of um, alerts and, and um, data based on behavioral based detection versus rule based. Um, a lot of people have, you know, have fancy words where they call, you know, AI, machine learning, this and that, but I, I've rarely seen it work effectively. I think this is a, a situation where it does work really effectively. It does uh, free up time and, and resources on our side that we can apply to other problems we're trying to solve. So I think that's number okay. one. Okay, terrific. Well, I'm really curious, Adam, uh, got to ask you this question. I mean, we saw a really big software IPO last year. What do you think is in store for Lacework? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the IPO is just a, a point in time as opposed to, um, you know, it's part of the journey. Um, you know, Laceworks uh, continuing to invest and really, you know, focus on fundamentally changing um, the security landscape. Um, you know, one of the thing, one of the reasons why I joined Lacework and continue to be really excited about um, the opportunity comes back to you know this the fundamental challenge that all security tools have. You know, we do not want to create a, a platform that drives um, wet blanket behavior, but really fundamentally enables um, teams like Arun's to move faster and, and enable the builders to build the applications that fundamentally drive great business outcomes for our customers. And so that's what gets me out of bed. And I think everyone at least work is, is really focused on helping drive great outcomes for our customers. 
Fascinating to hear how Lacework is securing cloud around the world. Lovely to have you on this show. Adam Leftick, the VP of Lacework, as well as Arun Sankaran, the CISO of LendingTree. I'm your host for the AWS Startup Network here on theCUBE. Thank you very much for watching.